What do yeah. you play? I mean, uh, I play oddly enough. Uh, w oddly enough, with my stature, I play basketball quite a lot. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my main addiction. You basketball. were in that famed pickup game around this town, right? I mean, like, I was. Uh, yeah, well, I played. Uh, I played at uh, Gary Gary Shanley in, in Shanley's game for about thir thirteen that? years. I played. I've in that. I've, I've heard. Yeah. about it what in the world yeah. was that just at his actually, house he would just have people yeah, it over was his, i'd heard about it and um gary's the best i my makeup artist was his makeup artist <laughs> you know right mainly that's the way you get into most basketball games is through your makeup <laughs> artists and uh my makeup artist was gary's and also i knew my makeup artist's face because he was on because like gary there's that with larry sanders yes his makeup artist on the show was his makeup artist bruce oh really yeah so bruce grayson on the show is bruce grayson his makeup guy right and i started talking to bruce about it and i love playing basketball and he invited me one time and i was and then I stayed for 13 years. Every Sunday, I'd go play ball at Gary's. And what was his game like? It was, <clears throat> well, it was a. It's really interesting. Uh, it's a half court, and right. it's three on three, and mm -hmm. you play to seven, and by ones and twos, and it's a quick game. But it's also the funniest game on the planet because you got whether it's Will Ferrell or Judd Apatow or whoever's there, Sasha Cohen, whoever happens to be there, um, and Gary. Gary's surprisingly strong. Gary was surprisingly fit. Uh, he, he boxed a lot. He actually got me into boxing. Um, so you'd guard him and you're like, oh, it's Gary Shanley. He's a funny guy. And then you, you put your arm there and you feel that body push on. You're like, oh, no, no joke here. Okay. All right, this isn't funny, you know. Uh, and it was a great, it was also because you'd play and then you just sit around and just talk BS after the game. But it's also, you're, you're just chatting with the funniest people in the world. Right. Um, well, it I've was great. I've it told was, this story before and I'll, I'll tell you as please. well, but, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to be uh, introduced to Gary, and we had a lunch. Uh -huh. And just getting to meet him yeah. and hear his stories, and he was just so spiritual and yeah. such a deep guy, like telling me stuff that we just met. Right. And I was such a huge fan of his and Larry Sanders. Yeah. And so I felt comfortable to say, look, you know, I've got a show, an interview show on, on uh, DirecTV. Yeah. And he watched it. And gave me some tips. Yeah, that's and that's, one of the yeah. one of them was just looking at the layout of this desk uh -huh. and the chair that you're sitting in right now. Yeah, he thought it was fanned out too much that I needed to close it, and he said that the guest needs to be close enough to basically be sitting on your lap. Like he was right. telling you, it's got to be intimate. You got to listen. You got to. Yeah, he was awesome. He's great, and, and he's I met him twice. All basically, all about truth and being in the moment, and it's. I mean, the amazing thing about Gary is when. When G passed, the one thing that kind of came to light was, you know, you have a lot of, there's a lot of comedians who are mentors to other comedians. Right. Gary was a mentor to every type of person. I mean, whether it was a, whether it was a boxer, whether it was Favreau with Iron Man, and that's, and Favreau's not a comedian, he's just a director, writer, actor. And then whether it was Sasha with Borat, whether it was, when I was going to run, uh, I created a show called Men at Work that mm -hmm. I ran for yeah. three years. And yeah, on the network, when you were on, we were on, we yeah. were on the Turner Networks yes, together. Indeed. And so when I was going to run a show, what's called a showrunner, basically means you created it and you're the exec producer guy and the head writer. I didn't know what I was doing. I'd never written anything before except for Robot Chicken. And this was a <laughs> linear story and sure. live action. And right. first person I went over and saw was Gary. And I was like, how do I show run? What do I do? They asked who the showrunner was. And I just raised my hand. So right. how do I do it? And Gary sat me down. And it wasn't, here's how you talk to your writers. It was what you're talking about. It was much more of the spiritual side of like, here's how you get in the headspace. Here's how you're Amazing. open to accept criticism and accept other ideas and really make this the best thing it can be, whether it's a comedy, drama, movie, mm -hmm. music, album, whatever. He was a mentor to so many different people. And I think that's why it resonates so much with like Judd's documentary and one. Yeah, that two-part documentary. I mean, on you HBO need that to be two-part because he's. I mean, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have Modern Family. You wouldn't have The Office without Larry Sanders, British or American right. version. I mean, the amount of people he touched with his style and his comedy is kind of unheard of. Um, so to play in that game, and then Gary got me involved with boxing, which I became addicted to, going and watching. I mean, like actually throwing and watching. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was an amazing guy. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.